Hello everyone, it's Corey Tafoya, the Harvard superintendent with another message to our families and community. Well, we're back and it's been so exciting to welcome our students back in person, all of them learning, laughing, enjoying school, and of course our teachers back knowing uh, that they're doing what they love with the students every day. Those interactions are just truly priceless. And while it's a little bumpy to get started in any school year, regardless of a pandemic and mask, we're back at it and things have been going so smoothly. So we wanna thank everyone for their patience as we get it all worked out and it's really going quite smoothly and we're excited about how the year's begun. I wanna give you an update on our SHIELD testing program. We were thrilled by the turnout. Over a thousand students and staff members consented in to the program where they would do testing at school. It's really exciting to know that that's something we can offer to all of our staff and students. What we just learned though is that only unvaccinated people would be eligible for the SHIELD testing program. So we have to sort that out a little bit to determine who is unvaccinated because they would be the only ones eligible for the test. So in the coming days, you'll be hearing from us about that. But we also have some other testing programs that we can still offer at the school if there is a positive case that we need to test for. So while it was disappointing to find out that our vaccinated students and staff wouldn't be able to be tested, we're still really excited about the opportunity for our unvaccinated students. Remember that's all of our pre-K through about seventh grade students to be tested as well as our unvaccinated staff to provide them that protection. We also have some ideas for our vaccinated staff how to protect them as well. So as our students have filled the buildings and our staff are back, we're going to be constantly monitoring all the health and safety of the county and the state, all the regulation and guidelines we receive so we can provide every piece of security to our students that they remain safe in our buildings at all times. So the fall is always super exciting for parents and students as we come back, but I wanna let you know as parents ways you might get involved with our school district. Of course, there's a lot of activities at our school, and in the coming weeks, you're going to receive a parent activity calendar, which will be a one-stop shop for you to look at all the different events going in our, uh, in our district. There are sporting events, there are going to be concerts, there are booster clubs. Uh, there are so many ways for you to get involved and support our students. And that information that you'll receive will help you stay very connected to all the good things going on every day. A special invitation that I have from me to you is to join our Parent Advisory Committee. Our Parent Advisory Committee is a fun opportunity for us to share a little bit about what's going on in the district, as well as you to ask us questions about things that you're curious about in our district. In the coming weeks, we'll let you know how you might connect with that committee and join us for one of the three meetings we have every year. And finally, of course, because we're a school, we care most about learning and attendance and all those good things. We're a power school district, and so you can use the resources tab on the students and families on our website to go to your students' grades and attendance and really stay connected. There's also tutorials and videos for you to learn how to use PowerSchool if you've never used that resource before. I know it's a great tool to monitor what's going on so you never have to ask your son or your daughter, what are you doing at school? How are you doing? You can always have that resource yourself to check in. It's a great way to stay connected with our school. And always, please come back to our website and use all of our social media outlets to keep up to date. There's a lot going in our school district and we wanna make sure you aren't gonna miss a great thing happening in our schools. Thanks everyone.